All right, we are here with South Carolina head coach Boo Major. The Gamecocks fall 13 to seven to Georgia on Saturday. Coach, the scores, you know, late in this meet, you were two points away from being right back in it. It just seemed like the second half of the meet uh, didn't go your way. All in all, talk about how you thought about your team did today. Well, I think we just had too many mistakes today. I do, you know, we had a meeting afterwards and really talked positively about the improvement in the team since we were in Athens um, back in the fall. I think that we saw a different team out there today. However, I think we had a tight team. I think they had, there were some nerves going on. Um, and I think we had uh, quite a few mistakes that were very minor, but when you go against a good team like Georgia, if you make a minor mistake, you're probably not gonna be in the winner's circle. So, we, um, so we've got some homework to do to get better. Um, this was not, I felt like last week we had a pretty mistake-free group, and this week it was, we had a few more issues. So, you know, we just have to keep working, keep at it, and see if we can get some improvement. Uh, in reigning, uh, Michaela Clegg, another win for her against a very tough Georgia team today. Bailey Walters, another MOP for her this season. And she also won her point. When you look at um, your reigning lineup and, and what you saw out of that group, just talk about what you thought. Well, I think as a whole they were good. But, you know, you're never happy if you, if we're not, you know, if you're, if you, you're losing points. But I think... We had some rods that lost a point here and a point there, and then we had some um, penalties that cost us. And um, you know, we, one of the things that Coach Sorrell really preaches to the girls is to really try to stay out of the penalty box. So if we could stay out of the penalty box more than what we're doing right now, I think our Rainers would come out on top a lot more often than they are. However, I will say that Michaela Clegg put out one of the best rods I've ever seen on Skeeto today in that you know, she really had uh, really controlled what he was doing. And yeah, it wasn't a 75 rod, but at the same time, I think she was coming back when he had been run pretty hard and was able to keep control over him pretty well. So I was really pleased with her. And certainly Bailey Walters just keeps getting better and better. So we're really happy with her, happy with what she's doing and just want her to continue on that same track. Heading down into jumping, I know traditionally this season and over the past couple seasons, you've always felt your jumping team has been one of your stronger groups compared to other teams. Uh, Georgia just edged your three points to two. Uh, Chloe Schmidt won her point, as did Samantha Krause. When you look at your jumping group as a whole, how did you think the scores broke down today? Well, again, I think it was mistakes that kept um, Sam Smith and Sydney Smith and um, Lizzie from being able to to come out as winners, I, I you know we, Sam Smith kind of has an excuse because she's just back in the lineup this week and hadn't even ridden since Thanksgiving until Tuesday, so I you know I can kind of forgive her a little bit for making a mistake here or there, but you know we've just got to get away from mistakes that we normally do not make and we just made them today and that's got to go away um, if we're going to have any shot at being um, having a, a good ride at SECs. Um, and going up against Texas A&M in two weeks, as well as Auburn after that. So, you know, we've got some homework to do, but I think it's a lot of a mindset and, and that we've got to just get out there and continue to, to plug at it and try to go back to the drawing board to figure out why, you know, what mistakes we made and why did we make them? You know, was it a mental thing or was it a horse thing or what was it? And hopefully we can figure that out between now and, um, and the 20th of February. Georgia won four of five horsemanship points at one point. Um, and Megan Overberg won her point to cut Georgia's lead to seven to five. Georgia went on to win the last three horsemanship points uh, to really take control of the second half of the meet. When you look at your horsemanship team as a whole, I know you just talked to Coach Sorrell a couple minutes ago. How did she feel about that group? Well, I think she had the same thing that I talked about with the jumping in the flat. That she just she thought that her girls as a whole rode very well, rode much better than they've been riding in the fall. Um, but again, it kind of came down to making a mistake here and a mistake there. And there were some that rode lights out and um, only lost by half a point. And those you can't be disappointed with too much. But, you know, I, I, I just think it's, it's people that don't normally make mistakes were making mistakes today. And that we just, you know, we rely on those folks so much that we've got, they've got to be able to come through for us so that if we have the the others the newer ones the freshmen the newer ones that are competing that haven't competed those guys 
you know, are going to make mistakes here and there. So, you know, they've just got to make sure that they're continuing to have a solid performance. On the flat, Samantha Smith won her point today in her debut back in the lineup. Aaron Fry, her first career MVP, especially on that flat side, seems to be one of the lineups where you have traditionally this year more seniors maybe compared to some of the other events. When you look at the seniors in that lineup and Aaron Fry, Sam Smith, Samantha Krause going into the road next couple weeks over at Auburn, just talk about what you'd like to see in Texas A&M here in a couple weeks, what you'd like to see out of your veteran riders. Well, I think just I really am excited that we have three home meets in a row because I think it gives us an opportunity to get better. We had a great weekend last weekend. The girls rode extremely well. We did not have a good weekend this weekend. And so I think we can take what we learned from our meet against UT Martin, take what we've learned from our meet against Georgia today and then put those things together and look at how we can get better. I certainly was thrilled with Erin. She had a great ride and she, she had to ride the alternate horse, the horse that she was supposed to ride, lost a shoe at the last minute. And um, she was at, she, I don't think she's ridden that horse in a few weeks. And she was able to get out there and get the job done. So I was thrilled for her. And Sam Smith just did a super job on a rather difficult horse today and, and, and got the job done for us. So we just need to continue to uh, have a, a more well-rounded flat group that, um, that has confidence in themselves and, and rides the horses a little bit more positively. And I think we'll, we'll come out all right. Gamecocks return to action February 20th when they host Texas A&M for Senior Day. Coach, good luck next couple weeks at practice. We'll check back with you soon.